Then in, uh, let's see, 2014, she founded OneCoin. And that's where kind of we go in here. So then that's what this whole scheme is. This Bitcoin that's called OneCoin. And she claimed that it was going to be so big that it was a Bitcoin killer. And it would make early investors incredibly rich. Hmm. So she traveled around the world, you know, touting this whole new Bitcoin that she discovered called OneCoin. So I know a little bit about cryptocurrency, but not like a ton. Um, it, it's kind of complicated and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm sure it makes a lot of sense to people that are mathematicians. And I'm definitely not that. <laughs> um, but I guess, you know, like a Bitcoin is basically it's this new currency that people are using. And what the appeal is, is that it can't be really tracked and it's not part of like any banking system. You don't have to go to the bank to get any of the stuff. The other appeal is that it's also anonymous. So I think the whole mind behind cryptocurrency was that it was something that people wanted to do to get away from the banking systems, which I totally understand because banking systems are completely corrupt too and like suck a lot sure but they're insured. with all their fee i know but they have all their fees and stuff so and the, and yeah. and it's appealed a lot to like criminal activity you know like child trafficking for one and others because it's it can't be tracked yeah that's why i don't get why people well i don't i mean I, I don't appealing to child traffickers. It sounds like not a good idea to me. Right. I <laughs> totally whatever. I know. The, it's drug just... the drug dealers and the human traffickers love it. That's your. Yeah, sales they pitch. do. I know. <laughs> I guess that's your sales pitch for cryptocurrency because everyone always talks about, oh, you should invest in it. And like, so people have like these huge servers, like in their houses, you know, like they build these giant rooms of computers where they quote unquote mine for bitcoins which i don't even know what the hell that means i guess these computers go through and find bitcoin and then they buy it or whatever and then invest their money into it or something so bitcoins have what what's called it's a a blockchain attached to them and that's basically like their code so it can't be changed altered or anything even by the creator of the bitcoin hmm. so it, it's like its own unique little code kind of like on a ten dollar bill i guess like whatever the serial number is it kind of goes along with that if i'm explaining that right um yeah no you are i understand and maybe this is different but i understand bitcoin only a little bit because i saw it on the big bang theory <laughs> where <laughs> they were leonard and the gang right were basically you have to like solve problems to be able to get into the bitcoin so of course they solved problems years ago and thought they'd made a bunch of money off of it, but they couldn't find the files. So, spoiler, they never found it. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. yeah, I don't know much about it, but it seems so weird. And, and honestly, cryptocurrency, cryptic is the best word I've heard for it so far, because that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I don't understand it fully either. And usually, here's, I'm going to give some little advice here. Usually, if it's something you don't understand, then you probably shouldn't like really invest in it if you don't understand it really well just 100%, saying 100 percent. and i think everyone went crazy with that you know around that time when she founded that like 2016 people were like oh bitcoin it's the new it's gonna save the world and everyone's gonna switch over to it from cash and euros and everything you know it's gonna change the whole banking system you know so it's a perfect time for a scam artist like you know, Dr. Ruja Ignatova to step in mm -hmm. and be like, oh, look, I just founded this new Bitcoin called OneCoin. Everyone invest in it, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I mean, that's all it takes to run like an MLM and a Ponzi scheme. I hate MLMs, by the way. Like, yeah. I don't want, I don't want your damn Tupperware. I don't want your, I want, you know, I don't I, like Amway, you know, it's like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want all that crap. I yeah, don't no, do that. Those are, those are total scam. I mean, I, you know, we all grew up going to those little parties and everything, and they are definitely not worth your time. Ever. No. I mean, the products, they am like the Tupperware products are great, but they're kind of pricey. And then they keep calling you and bugging you to have, have your own party. <laughs> right. And then if you get more people involved, you'll get a smaller percentage, blah, blah, blah. You know, it just goes on and on. And it's like, then at the end of the day, it's like you have a house full, you know, basement full of all this crappy Tupperware. 
And it's like, what am I supposed to do with all this? You know? So anyway, so this is the uh, cryptocurrency version of that. Basically. It's just kind of like an old game with a new spin. That's all. Yeah, that's crazy. And of course, you know, here's my thing. So Dr. Ruja Agnaktova, if she's just a smart lady, which obviously she is, you know, she got her doctorate at the age of 25. It's like, she's obviously a smart lady. So why don't you just make a legit Bitcoin? You know, like, that's what I don't get. I'm I'm like, okay, man. Yeah. Like what? So what she did then. So what she, she, well, what she was selling basically was these educational material for her trading members. So she'd have these massive uh, conferences where people would show up, just like Amway or whatever. Same concept. And she would pack all these stadiums or wherever she was having these events all over the place. And so they would buy these packages that would range from like 100 euros, it's like 120 bucks USA, to like 118 euros or 140,000 bucks. So they were told that they would make uh, two times on the money they invested. So there's your scam number two right there red flag whenever they say oh we're gonna double your money you better just run that's what the seller's playbook lady got in trouble for right exactly she's like oh you'll make a bill you'll make a million dollars in a year you'll just make it right back yeah okay no that's not the scams could have gone on a lot longer had they not said that (laughs) right for real yeah they wouldn't have gotten shut down by the ftc right so Mm. Same with Ignatova. Mm. So here's here she is selling all this crap. Um, so each package included tokens, which could be assigned to mine one coins, one coin. And they had it looks like they had servers in two sites in Bulgaria and one in Hong Kong. Um, so then each level except six or seven gave new material, educational quote unquote material, which was plagiarized from like several different sources. <sighs> Of course, it's like, wow, you can't even write your own original crap with this scheme, lady. You know, <laughs> like, so then, um, you, so then most of the one coin recruiting meetings is what I guess, I guess what they call them one coin recruiting meetings. They talked about investing in Bitcoin, but never the education piece of it, of course, because that's how it all works. Like when I went to Vegas for Seller's Playbook, they never once talked about how to sell on Amazon or like, you know, they never went into detail. It was like, oh, buy this other garbage crap from this other shitty shady company Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thanks everyone for listening to real talk don't forget to subscribe to our podcast wherever you listen we look forward to having you on our next